Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining us for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, and I've got a question for you. How many of you are great at procrastination? Because I know I am. It's one thing that I continually struggle with, both in my personal and professional life. And most of the time, that means that I wait until the last minute and I get that pressure of a deadline and it really helps me get stuff done. And sometimes I wait until the very last minute and it's too late and there's nothing that can be done at that point because there's not enough time. And today we're going to see a passage that talks on this, but also touches on our temptation to, to maybe be lazy and complacent with things when we don't have that pressure to actually do them. See, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 4 says, Sluggards do not plow in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. See, this passage touches on that temptation to be lazy and complacent in the moment. We know we should do something. And, and those that are farmers understood this proverb better than maybe we do today. Because they understood that there was a season to plow and prepare and plant, so that the harvest time they would actually have a crop to harvest and to reap. But the opposite is true. If you don't plow and prepare and plant in that season, you have nothing to reap when it's time to harvest. And what that means for us is that we have seasons of life where maybe we know we need to do things. Maybe it's this fall season when we know we need to be saving and preparing for the holidays, or spring when we know we need to be getting ready for summer vacation or travels. Maybe it's that there's seasons of life that are busy and we need to be taking care of ourselves and our health, or maybe in those busy seasons, we need to make sure that time with God is a priority and doesn't get crowded out by our schedule. Or maybe it's that at work you have seasons where you need to get things done, you need to be working ahead even if no one's asking you to do them. All of these things come back to our own personal discipline. And scripture talks about the power and benefit of, of self-control and self-discipline. Hebrews 12 even talks about this when it says that for the moment all discipline seems painful, but later it yields a harvest of righteousness for those that have been trained by it. I think that also applies to our personal discipline and self-control. I think that the work or the things that we need to do and doing them when we need to do them may not seem pleasant, but we get to reap the blessings and benefits later if we do it. So today, let me encourage you to spend some time thinking on the season of life that you're in right now and thinking about what you need to be disciplining yourself to do so that in the coming season you can reap the benefits of that. Another way to ask it is what do you need to do today so that you're in a healthy place next year? Because we don't want to find ourselves in a harvest season looking but finding nothing in terms of health or a harvest in our life. So discipline yourself today so that you can be rewarded tomorrow. Have a great and intentional day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.